I put just a connection, I was trying to put a connection between mouth breathing and TMD. Is there a connection between mouth breathing and temporomandibular disorders? And in this paper here, it's a 2005 paper, it's published in the Journal of Clinical Pediatrics and Dentistry. And it looked at, okay, the neck accessory respiratory muscles and mouth breathing suggest a direct relationship among asthma, temporomandibular dysfunction and cervical spine disorders. So this study was performed to evaluate and correlate TMDs, the cervical spine disorders, and asthmatic and non-asthmatic, to see if there's a relationship between your breathing and TMDs. 30 asthmatic children, 30 non-asthmatic children, predominantly mouth breathing. So you had a mouth breathing group, and you have got an asthma group, and you've got 30 non-asthmatic, predominantly nasal breathing. So you've got three groups of kids. The significant frequency of palpatory tenderness of the temporomandibular joint, TMJ sounds, pain during cervical extension and rotation, palpatory tenderness of the sternum, sternocleidomastoids and the paravertebrae muscles, and a severe reduction in the cervical range of motion were observed in the asthma group. Now, asthma group will tend to be mouth breathers in the main. But there was a relationship between the asthma group and the mouth breathing group of kids. They demonstrated palpatory tenderness of the posterior TMJ, medial and lateral pterygoid, trapezius muscles when compared to the nose breathing group. The results suggest a positive correlation between the severity of TMD and the CSD signs in asthmatic children. There seems to be some relationship between oral breathing during childhood and TMD. Now, many of you spoke about forward head posture, the alterations to the craniofacial changes, but there's a lot going on. The nose is not just the two holes in the face. No child was considered normal to CSD and cervical mobility. The possible shortening of the neck accessory muscles of respiration and mouth breathing could explain the relationship observed between temporomandibular disorders in asthmatic children.